Our proximity to Washington, D.C. gives us easy access to the monuments and memorials that celebrate our country's history. They reflect a past filled with well-known stories of great people doing great things to build a nation. But America's history is also filled with not-so-celebrated stories, stories that also deserve to be told. In school, we're taught about all the important events in our country's history. July 4th, 1776, the end of the Civil War and slavery, the day Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. But there are many lesser known events that had equal impact on our country. In America's Hidden History, New York Times bestselling author Kenneth Davis presents a collection of extraordinary stories, each detailing an overlooked episode that shaped our nation. Davis reveals that the first colonists in America were wine-making French Huguenots. And despite his reputation for telling the truth, George Washington was less than honest in his recounting of his unauthorized attack on a corps of French diplomats he thought were going to attack his Virginian army. Spanning a period from the Spanish arrival in America to George Washington's inauguration, America's Hidden History will expand your knowledge and give you a fuller view of our nation's past. It wasn't until the 1890s and the administration of Teddy Roosevelt that the nation turned its attention to commemorating the country's history. In Etched in Stone, Ryan Coonerty brings us a collection of stories and photographs about the country's many tributes to our past. On courthouses and national monuments, below statues and over doorways, poems and quotations are lasting testimonies to what our nation was, is, or aspires to be. Many of the monuments are well known, but many are not. The International Peace Garden in North Dakota at the border with Canada, or the Anne Frank Human Rights Memorial in Boise, Idaho, are examples of lesser known but equally impactful tributes to our past. In the same vein, in the book, 10 Days That Unexpectedly Changed America, author Stephen Gillen looks at those less obvious dates that were nonetheless important in our nation's development. On January 25, 1787, the ragtag men of Shays' Rebellion clashed with the Massachusetts militia. This rebellion influenced the adoption of a new constitution with a stronger central government. On January 24, 1848, Carpenter John Marshall spotted a few glittering flakes of gold in a California riverbed, setting off America's westward migration. And on August 2nd, 1939, Albert Einstein co-signed a letter sent to President Roosevelt, warning him of Hitler's pursuit of an atomic bomb, unwittingly setting into motion the creation of the Manhattan Project and America's use of atomic bombs against Japan. This companion book to the History Channel's documentary of the same name shows how a few individuals can change the course of history. For more great reading on our country's lesser known past, pick up a copy of Eyewitness to America by David Colbert and A Nation Rising by Kenneth C. Davis. Coming up next on Check It Out, we'll take a look at the history of voting rights in America right after this message from the Fairfax County Public Library.